Hi guys, it's Rogan Rummy, and today I'm going to be doing essentially my 2012 empties. Um, I haven't really done, I haven't done any empties at all in 2012, um, so I figured I might as well just kind of do them all as like a year 2012 empty. There are many things that are not listed or shown in the video, um, really I'm just going to have to go through my old videos and pretty much figure out the difference between what's on here and what I used in my bath that isn't listed and then I'll just list them in the down bar below. Um, so let's get started. The first thing I have here is a true living orange vanilla candle. As you can see it's practically almost gone. Um, when it gets that low I do use them on my tart warmers. Well not on my tart warmers, on my um, candle warmers where it like heats up the bottom of the glass and then it shoots through it kind of like a tart warmer. And then I have liquid hand soap in fresh pe peach scent and a Wegmans foaming hand soap in mandarin. I have a little baggie next to me that I'm putting all the, all the empties in after I show them to you guys. And then I have the Colgate Total Advanced Whitening. Um, I absolutely love this toothpaste. It really left my teeth nice and white and uh, feeling really clean and smooth. Sometimes you use um, toothpaste and it doesn't really leave your mouth feeling like you just brush your teeth. It feels like you just left another layer of something over top of your teeth and I don't really like that. So I'm really I really like Colgate. The next thing is feeling smitten. Um I kind of put two into one on this. The first one was the berry balm bath balm. And these were cupcakes that were pretty much bath melts. And the top was an exfoliator, but I never really used them. I just kind of smashed them up into the water as well. Um, and then also from... I also have on here the Candy Carousel Super Fizzy Mini Bath Balms in cotton candy and bubble gum because I used the container from that for my um, boyfriend's gift. So I kind of just transferred it over here because the packaging looks almost the same. And then I used up one whole old Oxford Station banana nut bread, so I have one left of those. Um, this smells amazing. It smells just like banana nut bread, um, with a little bit of, like, vanilla in there as well, so it smells really good. I liked it, and why I used up a whole one already. And then I had a bunch of these, um, these are the round bath bombs I got from the dollar store. This one was in pear. Line that up right. Those was in pair. Um, I had a lot of these, so I'll probably list these below in the description of what all I used. And then there was the Splash of Fun Watermelon Scented Soap, which looked like a straw, which looked like a butterfly. And then I have the Island Tropics Pina Colada Bath Cubes. I used two of those. I put the little wrappings right here. They were kind of hard to open. That's why they're all kind of mashed up. And then from Bathmark, I have the Sheer Delights Candy Apple Shower Gel and the Pink Sugar Icing Shower Gel. And 
um, stay free ultra thing. <laughs> Just throw that out there. And then we have a feeling. We have five feeling smitten mini cupcake bath bombs. This one was Mellow Mimosa, which was champagne, melon, and sweet tangerine. And then we have vanilla cake, which is self-explanatory. It's vanilla. And then we have berry balm, which is the same as the big one, which was blueberry and pomegranate. And then Hot Mess, which was Magnolia, Pink Hibiscus, and Peach. I also really liked that one. And then there was Pink Bliss, which is Pink Grapefruit, and Jasmine, which I also really liked. Then I have some Lush Empties here. It's Raining Men, Shower Gel Sample, um, the Olive Branch Sample, and Flying Fox Sample. Then we have Revlon Color Stay Aqua in Fair. It's not completely gone, but it's pretty much gone. And then we have L'Oreal Bare Natural in Soft Ivory, which again is not completely gone, but it's pretty much gone. <laughs> Alright. Then I have the sweet apple and kiwi bath soaks that I used. And the cupcake bath scissors. This is one that I had in blueberry, and I had another one in strawberry as well. And then we have stuff that I used from Influencer. Um, the Joraldi Gourmet Milk Sea Salt Escape. I've already been using um, ivory soap, so I kind of didn't really use their bar, but I already used up one whole bar of it, so I figured I might as well show you guys. Um, this will be going to someone else, probably a friend, or in our drawer, in case we run out. <laughs> now this is not empty, but I do like this, it's the lip soul. I just kind of took it out of this packaging, and that's why the packaging is here. I did use up quite a few of the stash tea when they gave it to us. I think I used like half of it. Um, soft baked oatmeal cookie from Quaker. I definitely used the impressed nails. I had, thank god it's Friday. At least that's what it was. Yeah, thank god it's Friday. It had dots on it. That matches my bathing suit. also expired. And I'm currently using the Detox Complete Dio Diogeo Island <sighs> deodorant. The expiration date on this one. Yeah, it's expired. And another thing that I have not thrown out, but I have been using, is the dish drying mat. 
I use that to dry off my, like, craft supplies and stuff like that. Pretty much just put my toilet seat, put it on my toilet seat, and then put the stuff on top of my toilet seat to dry while I'm taking the bath. So by the time I'm out of the bath, it's usually halfway dry, then all I have to do is pat it with it, and it's done. Um, so that is all that I have in my actual hands. I'll put more things in the down bar, like I mentioned before. If you like my video, please leave a like, and if you like what I'm providing on my channel, you can always subscribe up above, and I will be doing more videos uh, later. I do have a store haul that I did, that I went to yesterday, that I got yesterday, so I'll be putting that up as well, as well as, um, I'll probably throw in there what I think about the dance floor that I got as price mail. So, see you guys soon.